Greetings my fellow gamers and humanitarians across the world. This is a, a brand new video from DWT focusing on goodness. I, I don't really know how else to say it. I've been doing a little bit of soul searching lately and every time I seem to go on my favorite YouTubers channels and watch videos, I happen to look into the comment section and um, yeah man, like the world is a nasty place. I, I don't know how how else to put it? Um, it? It seems like the outlet for communication in this industry, which would be um, YouTube comments and of course Reddit, which is pretty much the only avenues for communication, talking to people, having conversations, seem to be the, the main two. It's basically a fiesta online and um, it, it, it kind of breaks my heart as as someone who considers themselves as a you know a good person and a good soul as I've been called um, just arguing and people just going at each other like we're enemies um, you know I, I, I pulled up one of my favorite videos today um, it was this video talking about dark souls I think I think it was a video by cool ghosts if you've heard of them they're pretty cool and this one guy just went on a tirade just because someone said something that he didn't like. It was like death threats, your mom this, your mom that, I hope you die and all this nasty stuff. And I'm just thinking to myself, what kind of fucking world do we live in right now, right? There's so much darkness out in the world. Like there's so much cold. For instance, you know, just walking outside in a, a shady neighborhood at night, you know, we, we look behind our backs in the world. We, we assume danger. We assume someone's out to get us. There's so much just badness out in the world. Do we, do we want to have that environment for our industry too, which by the way, is an industry that has not always been looked on fondly by the world. You know, when I when I grew up in this industry, uh, which was you know the early 2000s, when I was a teenager, you know, if you liked video games, you were basically a weirdo or a nerd or a social outcast. You know, there was no mobile gaming. Mobile gaming, there was no mobile gaming. We had flip phones. Those were our cell phones back in the past, and there was no digital displays. You know, it was all analog at the time. So. If you liked video games and you played, let's say, Diablo 2 or some PC games, you know, if you like Doom or the Oregon Trail on the old uh, computer systems and, and libraries and classrooms, you, you were literally a social outcast. You know, we have come so far. This industry has come so goddamn far in a good way that gaming is now socially acceptable if, if damn near not uh, encouraged to some, uh, to some point, right? Every phone has the ability to play a game. Every device on the planet has the ability to go wireless per se. Connectivity is out of control. You can you can dock you could take your switch with you on the subway. You can connect to other people wirelessly, play with people, trade items and do all this cool stuff. There's online everything. Um, you know, you just you just turn on your computer and the next big video game, you know that you just click the button and you're in the game online talking to people. It, it, we've come a, a very long way. And the outside world, people who don't play video games, they've come to accept that it's a, 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 a good means of entertainment. You know, of course, not going overboard is, is, is a great thing, but we're not social outcasts anymore for being gamers. And what I'm what I'm trying to get at here is We've come a long way, the industry, but internally, you know, when you actually focus down to the one-on-one -on -one engagements, the conversations people are having, the dialogue that's being flown around, comment sections, Reddit, just any kind of comment chain out there, it seems to be dominated by negativity and harassments and degra degradation, basically. And as a creator, I've been exposed to this, okay? Uh, my channel is about two years old now, coming up on my two year anniversary. And um, when I first started this channel, I had no idea how toxic just being in the spotlight could possibly be. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and throw an example at you. 
I've been called every sort of name on the planet. My family has been insulted. I've gotten death threats from people I haven't even talked to before. Literally zero words exchanged between me and that individual, but somehow, some way, they absolutely hate my guts to the point where they will go out of their way to personally attack me over and over and over in every single one of my videos. Yeah, that seems to be the norm with a select few people on the internet. You know what? I take that back. A lot of people on the internet. And this is a shout out to those people. Spread love, not hate. Because being a hater in this world, carrying around a salt shaker your whole life, trust me, I'm in my early 30s. I've learned a few things through life. At the end of the day, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you have to ask yourself, am I a good person, right? You have to sleep in that body. You have to look in that face in the mirror and you have to accept the consequences for how you act through your behavior throughout the day and, and those interactions you have with people. If you're just an asshole to people, if you're just spreading hate, if you're just calling people names, trying to look for fights, that's who you are as a person. And nobody wants to live with that. But some people, that's their innate behavior. Okay? But doing so from a creator standpoint, I've seen everything, okay? For I've even been insulted by I can't remember his name, but there was some popular YouTuber who came onto one of my videos. Uh, I can't remember which one, but he basically called my content so, uh, trash. This is a useless video. Um, your content sucks. This, this video is just a bunch of garbage. And then kind of personally attacked me and then also went onto his Twitter and then personally attacked me again publicly. And I, I, I honestly didn't know how to react at first because not to toot my own horn or anything, but since the very beginning of my channel, two years running, I have been, like I said, insulted f to the moon and back for no particular reason. You know, maybe just something I said pissed somebody off and, and he wanted to have a fight with me. I have never responded to a single comment, a single negative comment in the entire existence of DWT. I challenge anyone out there to go back to any one of my videos and see if you could ever find a comment from me placating toxicity. It's not going to happen. And there's a reason for that. It's because it's important not to public, publicly acknowledge those who are being demeaning and disrespectful because those people are looking for that spotlight. So if you're out there and you're being harassed and you're being talked down to by someone for no reason, the best option is to simply ignore that person because he's crying out for that attention. That person is begging you to respond because that's all he has, he or she has, right? Those people out there, they don't like themselves. So they look for confrontation to fulfill some sort of pseudo uh, interaction to make themselves feel better, basically. Don't give them that outlet. If you're going to respond to someone, um, at least do it. Just kill them with kindness, basically, right? The best, the best weapon against an, uh, you know, a, a toxic person is actually happiness. Um, but anyway, I digress. I have never, ever responded to a single harassing comment in the history of my channel, let alone the guy who came on my channel and verbally harassed me and then made a big public Twitter thing about it, right? My job as a creator, I believe, someone who has a little bit of influence, you know, I'm not going to say that my channel is big or anything like Angry Joe, by the way, you're the man, love your channel, dude. Um, I do have a, a pretty decent subscriber base, and I feel like as someone who does have a, a little bit of a voice in this industry, it's my job. It's my job in my own character as somewhat of a leader in the industry, you know, you can take that word for it, whatever you want. It's my job to set an example. And I'm not going to do that by going out of my way and harassing people, responding to demeaning comments, encouraging toxicity, and basically demeaning people publicly, right? If you're doing that as a creator, then you should be ashamed of yourself because people look up to you, right? 
I mean, we're not celebrities here, but we do have fan bases, and, and I got a lot of nice comments every day, a lot of emails every day telling me how my how my, my fans love my videos and great job and stuff like that, which makes me feel really good, right? Those people do look up to us to some extent, and and being a good person in this world and being a leader in some way, in some way or fashion requires you to set a good example and, and, and encourage good behavior and going out of your way and, and, and encouraging toxicity, right? Having open communication with people who are fighting and putting people down, right? Why do people put people down? I've never understood it. Why do people want to make people feel like shit so that they can feel better? I've never understood that equation because it just does not add up to me. So kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, there's a lot of hate in this industry right now. And there has been for years and years and years. YouTube is a, a, a entry fee-less platform. There is no driver's license required. There's no uh, money required. It takes a free email address and you can go onto any YouTube video you want and say anything you want with complete anonymity. Did I say that word right? I have no idea. Uh, basically, you're anonymous, basically. Basically, you're anonymous, basically. Okay, can I say basically any more than that? Probably not, but anyway, I digress. Um, what I'm trying to say is, the average person on YouTube has absolutely nothing to lose when they share something on the internet in terms of what they type into that little chat box is what I'm saying. No one's gonna know who you are. And that encourages people to just kind of throw caution to the wind and, and just be bad people. And unfortunately, that's just the way the industry works. You know, good people out there who uh, who are busy doing good things, you know, going to work, who, who, who wanna spread goodness in the world, they don't care about the comment section, right? They just wanna watch the video and move on with their life, right? They don't have the time or the need to engage in mob style conversation. So usually, most people who go on comment sections and, and write in that comment box, and I'm not trying to generalize, you know, there's a lot of good people out there, but a lot of the people are just the people looking for that fight, right? Especially you take a look at the, um, you know, what's upvoted on every single video across the planet. Stupid uh, mob style fighting comments, right? You suck, this video sucks, blah, 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 right? It's just the mess of the system that's born from people wanting to come on to the channels and comments, having just basically nothing else to do. So we're not gonna be able to fix fighting one-on-one -on -one with this system because that's just the construct of how comment sections are run by Google, right? That's their algorithm. They, they play, we play by their rules and the comment section ends up just being a, just a, just a diarrhea bath of, of hate and toxicity. I'm talking to those people right now, and I'm also talking to those who want to engage with people, right? Everyone wants to have a conversation in the world, have, you know, have that debate of God of War. Talk about destiny, right? Constructively, right? Talk about Halo or The Last of Us or your favorite game, whatever it is. People want to share their opinions because opinions are very, it's to the core of our human nature to want to spread our opinion but do so respectfully. Come, just take it from a guy who has learned a few things in his life, right? You gotta look into the mirror at night and you gotta like who you are. So spread some love in this world. Don't spread hate. We've got enough. The world is covered with hate. Spread love, please, right? The world needs good people out in the world because we're slowly starting to get covered out by the darkness of, of hate. And uh, it's a kind of a depressing thought, but it is a very real reality, real reality that we have to live with. So there it is. That's my speech, monologue, whatever you want to call it, onesie. Be a good person. You know, we don't know where this life is going to take us. We don't know where the future holds. But if we can get there as a good soul, then the world's going to be a better place. So have yourself a great day. And uh, we'll see you guys in a few days with our next video. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. See you then.